Hi, I'm Alan Thick. Many of you say you grew up with me, so this would be a good time to show your respect and listen, or at least pretend to. Like our president does when he reaches across the aisle, even though you know he just wants to bitch slap those blocking Limbaugh loving Looney Tunes. But if you're under 40, you make me compete for your attention. You communicate in Twitter tweets. You don't even have time for vowels. We used to buy vowels from Vanna White, or as she's known in China, the Wheel of Fortune cookie. <laughs> Yeah, that was a big joke in 1979. I see I've lost you now. Well, here's the point. Us baby boomers handed you Obama boomers the keys to a broken kingdom. We a culpa. Now you have to learn from our mistakes. Some of them are obvious. You don't need me to point them out. That's what we have the view for. You probably know a boomer. There might be one in your neighborhood, even your family. In which case you've probably asked, should we kill them? They won't shut up. Some boomers stay in the closet with Botox, Rogaine, and penis helper pills available through AARP discount drugs, or by calling a friend in Canada where they have universal health care, same-sex marriage, and legalized marijuana. You could hit the bong one night, get all Michael Phelps up with your hockey team, and wake up married to your goalie, but you're both covered. Life is good in Saskatchewan. Someone needs to pontificate, and I've chosen me. Meantime, please be gentle. It's our first time being irrelevant. My people are nervous. We can see the future, and we're not in it. You are, and we want it to be good for you. So thanks for listening, if that's what you did.